Uh, coming to you for a SEO update, September 22, 2015. And what I want to talk about to you, with you today is citations. So uh, Mary Ann had sent an email out to all the SEO clients uh, talking about citations, but I wanted to make a video to go along with it to kind of give you guys an idea, kind of clarify some things in case you have any questions or just are kind of fuzzy on what citations are and how they affect your rankings. So basically citations um, are very important for the maps listing, the Google My Business listing. That's the main thing Google goes off of when ranking those listings. So uh, basically all it is is it's an endorsement from another authority website or online directory that says, you know, your business exists and it is legitimate. So um, for example, when you list on Yelp, Facebook, Manta, any of those types of sites, uh, and you put your, your company name, your company phone number, and your physical address, whatever you have registr registered with Google, whenever you put that anywhere else on the internet, as long as, it, as it's an authority site, then that is what's considered a citation. Those three things make up a citation. That's one citation. Okay, um, most citations, or a lot of citations anyway, are free. Some of the paid ones, which would be like Angie's List or um, the Better Business Bureau, those citations are obviously not free, but they still are citations that Google looks at. You don't have to have those, but the more citations that you have from authority websites um, with correct listings, then the higher you're going to rank, okay? So Google actually has guidelines on how you represent your business, okay? Um, and this is becoming more and more important because Google's main challenge right now with the Maps listing is trying to filter out real businesses from fake businesses, okay? There's a ton of scammy fake businesses out there that have, you know, somehow got a hold of an, a physical address, you know, they're using um, some kind of tracking phone number to create basically a fake business listing. And you may have seen these in your area where you look at it and you'd be like, that's not even a real business. I've never even heard of these guys. It's obvious that they're not real, but they are ranking. Okay, so Google's big challenge is to figure out which ones are real, which ones are fake. Um, so the more real you can make your citations look, the better chance you're going to have of ranking. And... What's really important, which we've, we've been dealing with with several of our clients, several SEO clients, is people want to either change their phone number, they want to change their business name, or they want to change their address. Now you can do that, and you know what we'll do is we'll change it in, in Google, but we need if you're going to do, change any of one of those three things, you please call us first. Please call Marianne or myself. Let us know that you're planning on doing that um, so that we can change it in Google and Facebook and Yelp and then match it in you know 50 plus other directories that may be out there now that being said like I said we can do that for you we can take care of that for you but it probably will set you back as far as your SEO program because now you have to reestablish trust with Google and show that you are not uh, a fake listing out there that you are real because what happens with a lot of the fake listings is um, things are constantly changing on there or they have inconsistent information around the internet you don't want to be put into that category with with as a, as a fake listing or a questionable listing in Google's uh, index so it's very important that if you're gonna make a change on the business name address or phone number that you please give us a call give us a heads up um, and let us it, it, it's ideal that we do that for you you know you're paying us to do SEO for you let us handle that stuff for you because there's specific things that need to be taken care of before you do this. Okay, so we've had a few people in the past that have gone ahead and just done it, had went ahead and changed something in their Google in their Google My Business page, and um, and then we see rankings start dropping or fluctuating, um, and we don't know why until we start doing some research or until somebody until one of the clients tells us. So it's very important. Now, it's becoming even more important now that like Apple and you know like mobile stuff is getting Apple Maps which is you know with the new iPhone that's coming out which we've discussed I hope you've seen those other videos um, 
citations are becoming that much more important and not just having citations but having citations that are consistent and correct across the internet as a whole. So I hope that clears up some information um, and I hope you know if you guys are going to make one of these changes uh, to your business name, address, or phone number that you please give us a call and let us handle that for you because there is it's not just simply changing it on Google um, or just Google and Facebook and expecting everything to work out. Um, what happens is if you do that, it's going to cause conflicting information with all the directories that we've set up for you guys. So we need to keep everything consistent and, uh, and we need to make sure that we are aware of any kind of changes you're going to make. So if you have any questions about that, give us a call, 406-493-1881. But once again, Joe Burnich, and this is just an SEO update for September 2015. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you.